friends, are you ready for a story today? We're going to read, I Like Myself. Look at this girl. She is so happy. She's happy because she likes herself. Do you like yourself? I like me too. This story was written by Karen Beaumont. She's the author. She wrote the book. Illustrated by David Cattrall. The illustrator made the pictures. So the illustrator made this picture of this girl looking so happy. This book was published by Scholastic. The publisher takes the pages and puts it together. I like myself. <laughs> Look what she can do. Can you do that? That would be very hard, huh? I don't know if I can do that. She has talent. There she is doing another trick. What does she have on her head? Mm -hmm. Soccer balls. It says, I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. She doesn't want to be her. She doesn't want to be him. She doesn't want to be him or him or her or him. She just wants to be herself. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose, I like my fingers and my toes. She likes all her parts. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. Look, she's being wild and she's scaring the lion. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. Hmm. She's pretending she is a rocket ship. What's this? Yeah, that's her skeleton. That's where? Where do we have our skeletons? Inside our bodies, underneath our skin. There is her skeleton. It says, I like me on the inside too, for all I think and say and do. So she doesn't just like the way she looks, she likes the things that she thinks. She likes the things that she says. And she likes the things that she does. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. What's this guy doing? Does he look like he's being very nice? No. She says, I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. So he might be saying something not so nice, but she says, I don't care. I don't care what you say. She's not gonna let him hurt her feelings because she is happy being herself. I may be called a silly nut or crazy cuckoo bird, so what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. When you're having fun and you love life and you love yourself, then you don't need to let other people bother you. He's having fun splashing around in that fountain. Oh my goodness! I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. 
And so, deep inside, what does that mean? Like, who she is. Like, what she feels and thinks and does. So, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. Wow, that's a neat thing she's on, huh? What is it? Like a bike, but it walks and has a flashlight and a fan and an umbrella. She is a very interesting girl. I'd still like me with fleas or warts. Fleas are little bugs that crawl around on dogs and stuff. It makes them real itchy like this. And she says, even if she had fleas or warts or bumps, do you ever see like a, a bump on someone's hand or on their face? And that's a, a, called a wart. It says, I'd still like me with fleas or warts or with a silly snout that snorts. She says if she has this snout, she would still like herself, even if it snorts. <coughs> or knobby knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips. Even if she had lips like this, she would still like herself. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes. Pew! Or horns protruding from my nose. What's this? Is that the horn? Oh my goodness. Even if she looked like this, she would still like herself. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine. Or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. She likes herself because she is herself. And that is all you really need to be. You just need to be you, and I just need to be me. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, friends. I'll see you later. Bye now.